guys, I just ran down to Watkins family. They thought they were gonna sneak out of the show and not get in front of my cameras with this big, beautiful KW they got behind them. And this has been an exciting opportunity for me. Ira, how are you doing today, sir? Great, 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 how are you? Fantastic, now I'm doing really, really well. I'm so glad you slowed down for me, man, and let me uh, yell at you. Please, please, please tell my audience a little bit about the truck that's behind us. Oh, well, man, where do I start? <laughs> uh, we were blessed to be able to pick it up a couple uh, a couple years ago okay. from a gentleman that was uh, running uh, some military-grade equipment. Named, uh, I'll give the job his name, John Lacoste, really, really nice gentleman. Uh -huh. um, John had had the unit since it was brand new, 2007. Okay. So uh, John, uh, at some point, uh, I guess around 2013 or whatnot, got married, decided they want more space. So he took his original sleeper off, and in 2018, uh, went up to Davies Motor Company, had him put that beast on right there. And man, that is just a beast, because Davies Motor Company, is, I've been waiting to get one of their trucks in front of me. They've done some awesome, awesome work. Yes, sir. Shout out goes to them, and how did, how did she perform? Oh man, awesome, awesome. Uh, Mr. Lacoste, uh, who went and purchased the unit from him, uh, gave me a stack of paperwork in and everything he had done to that unit since it was brand new, he had paperwork on. Wow. You know, changing the oil wow. every 15,000 miles, uh, ran like, runs like a dream. Outstanding. Yes, sir. And who is this big guy that we got right here? Uh, this, this is our Samson, our three year old Samson. <laughs> hey, Samson, how you doing, buddy? Say hello. We talking to you. <laughs> hey, Samson. <laughs> yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> So, Ms. Walker, I know you, you followed me around here. Uh, you were wheeling this bad boy. How do you like driving this? Um, I like driving it, actually. It's an 18 speed, so I had to learn how to uh, split the gears. Uh -huh. But when we were in school, we, we learned on the 13 speed. So oh, okay. It's, it's, it's not that bad. It's like driving a regular car, if you ask me, but a lot of people... <laughs> I like, I can't do it. And I'm like, I'm four feet 11 inches. So if I can drive it, anybody over four feet 11 inches can drive it. And actually, I've, I've actually met a couple of ladies who were actually a couple of inches shorter than me yeah. that are in the trucking business as yes. well. So height is no issue. <laughs> height and is no issue. It actually runs better than my Freightliner. I can tell you that. Hey, let's talk about that. How many trucks did you all actually have? We have four. Uh, he has two Freightliners. I have one Freightliner. Uh, my Freightliner is a 2017. Okay. It's a little newer than both of his, but they are what they are. And what do you I, what I do you all what do you all haul with these? Uh, right now we're doing uh, DOD okay. type of uh, loads. So with 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 showing up with this big boy here and driving your freight out of which one do you think has been a showcase for you? This is my Cadillac. It's Cadillac. 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 This yeah. is definitely the showcase. <laughs> this is definitely the showcase. Uh, we pull up in the truck stops and if I'm driving, I hear people on the CB, which I really don't get on. <laughs> but I hear them say, oh, that's a nice KW. Yeah. You know? And actually I was, he was driving, but I actually pulled in. No, I pulled in. And we were fueling, but I had to get out and go in the store. And there was a guy just standing out there, and he was like, "Oh, you're you're a trucker?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's that blue and white." He was like, "That's you. That's you. Oh, that's nice. That's nice." So we get that all the time. No, that's a nice truck. Nice so that's got to really be, I mean, an ego boost to have someone, <laughs> uh, your four eleven, step out of a. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> a beast like this and, and be admired by they, all those around they're you. They're probably like high, but that must be an automatic. That, that can't be a stick shift. There was a young lady last yeah. night that stopped you that was doing yeah. flatbed the other night. She, and, stopped you uh, about the she actually stopped me and asked me, you know, where did we get it from? How much was it? Um, that's, what, that's her dream is uh -huh. to get a bigger sleeper. So I told her, keep, keep aiming for it. You can get it. Right. You can get it. Yeah. So I know you all came to the show. So I, what 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 are you planning on doing? How long are you all gonna be here for the show? Oh man, it just depends. Today's our anniversary, so however long she lets me stay here. <laughs> yeah. So I'll try to stay here until tomorrow. Okay. Uh, if she allows me to, uh, so we can make some rounds and, and see what what the truck industry is offering these days. Okay. You know, I told her we couldn't park next to some of these beautiful trucks because 
we was all shined up. We were just coming <laughs> off the road. And yeah. but I'm like I'm telling you, this one is actually a beautiful ride, and it's actually um, a, a, a good application. And you can park her anywhere and be complimentary to your surroundings. When you when you're out there on the road and you're actually um, rolling along, and this this bad boy is hooked to, what kind of trailer do you pull with this? We pull a drive in, a setup for a uh, setup for munitions and explosives. Oh, okay. And man, that must be a challenge within itself to actually be going down and um, knowing you carrying this kind of material and this kind of vehicle under your authority, man, that, that must be some kind of cool. Yes, sir, yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir. It is. Actually, we were just west a couple of weeks ago with the snow. Yes. We got shut down. Oh. I-80 got shut down, so yes. we were in that. Oh, wow. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> I had, because I had never been on I-80 in the winter where oh. it was shut down before, so. But awesome. yeah, it, it was it was different. It was different, huh? It was different. <laughs> so, Ira, tell me a little bit. What do, what all do you have inside your sleeper? So inside, um, we're starting the passenger side. On the passenger side, we have a you want some loving? Okay. Uh, we have a convection oven yep. uh, with a uh, uh, refrigerator and a reefer on top. And then we have next to that before you get to the bed. Here, go to your mommy. We got a sink. And we have a sink, kitchenette. And then you have full side bed behind that. Behind the driver side, we have the um, the shower and a toilet combination. Okay. And then okay. there's some storage behind that. Um, Samson, okay. uh, And then there's full size bed behind that with the television. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So guys, I know you all want to probably get over there to the show, and I've got some other things I've got to do, but I wanted to thank both of you all for giving me the opportunity to spotlight you and get this beautiful rig in front of our audience. Guys, 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 thank you so very much. Thank and it's an absolute yeah. honor. All right. This guys, this is Quinn, Elegance 18 Wheels. I got Ira down here and his beautiful wife enjoying the global truck show. And this is why you come to a truck show. Because yes, you run into stuff just like this. Guys, thank you for being a thank part you. of our You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.